So I've mentioned it a couple times before on my channel, so some of you may know, Dad is the local road commissioner for the township that he lives in, which means he's in charge of taking care of the roads and also plowing snow off the road. So we're up here today, we're gonna get stuff ready for winter. We got a couple plows over here, we gotta put on some trucks. Uh, we're treating the fuel up because the uh, weather's gonna start getting cold and we just got a few other things to get ready for winter. Normally we have this done already, but we've been really busy with the farm and the weather's been really nice, not really any risk of snow. So we've just kind of put it off and we haven't gotten any snow yet, but it's coming. There's a chance of snow tomorrow. I don't know how much we'll get, but we need to get things ready anyway. So we have five pieces of equipment that we can plow with. The first one is this grader. We've got a straight plow for the front of it and a wing that goes on the belly blade. This old truck we hardly ever use, but we do have a plow for it. It's just kind of the backup. We also have a plow for this payloader. We drop the bucket off and there's a blade that mounts to the front of that. And finally, we have two international dump trucks that we can put plows on. These are the two main vehicles that we plow with. This red one just has a blade for the front and the green one has a blade plus a wing. So these are the two trucks we do most of our plowing with. See if you'll start. All right. All right, so this guy is dead, and we're gonna have to charge the batteries. That's kind of annoying. Dad said this isn't the first time he's had to do this, so maybe we need some new batteries. All right. Let's try Mr. Green Truck. See if he'll start. Sweet. All right, so while that other truck's charging, we are going to go over to our rock pile and put some chips in this truck. Uh, chips are just like a really small crushed gravel that they use for tar and chip roads. We fill these trucks up with chips for weight, and we also have a spreader on the back of this one, so if we get an ice storm, we can spread some chips down. We don't really have the budget for salt here, so if it gets bad, we'll just spread chips down. That way there's a little bit of traction that people can get, so. We're headed to the rock pile, gonna get this thing filled up. So here we are at our rock pile. We have road mix over here. This is what we lay down on the gravel roads. And then the chips over here. So they're just kind of small pebbles. And they spread out really nice on the ice with that spreader that we've got. So it also adds some extra weight so these trucks aren't sliding around when we're trying to push snow. Back. This guy's loaded. We're gonna see if Old Red will start now. All right, you can do it. So if I get the chance to choose, I prefer to run the green truck. This truck is a little bit newer. Um, it has a different engine. 
they both have the Allison automatic transmissions in them, but for some reason this one seems to shift too early, which is fine if you're just driving down the road. And I think they do that so you don't burn as much fuel. But if you're pushing some heavy wet snow, you almost have to keep this down in one of the lower gears. That way you have enough RPMs to keep ahead of it because it'll just fall on its face if you let it shift on its own. It'll be trying to push snow in like fifth gear and you'll be going 10 miles an hour at zero RPMs. So I don't know, we, we thought about getting this truck tuned to see if we can fix that, but I'm not exactly sure if we can. I think this is a 2013 or something like that, International Workstar, I think. Don't really know much about the engine, so it is what it is. And we're loaded. All right, we're gonna see if we can get this plow hooked up. The plow on the left goes on this truck. Need to square up. chain like from there to there. Yeah. All right, so the angle of the plow, there's too much weight on the front. So we hooked a chain to the actual blade. Now the chain's too long. We're gonna see if we can pick up the actual front blade part of the plow. So it was one to tip like this, but we needed to tip like this. If that makes sense. He's gonna shorten the chain real quick. See what we got. Parking brake off, forward. I think that meant stop, up. Move this one out of the way and get to the other one. And now we'll see if I can get dad guided in here. Get this plate straightened out. There we go.
so we may have a problem. We may have put the wrong plows on the wrong trucks. Oh boy. So we think we may have had this plow on the red truck last because there is a huge gap underneath here, which isn't a big deal. We can crank these wheels down and get it a little bit closer to the ground. You don't want it completely on the ground because then it will just tear up roads, but you need it lower than that. There's like two, three inches of clearance underneath there, and that's too much. So next we're going to mount the wing on here. The blade mounts on this and this is what raises it up in the front. And there's another cylinder that you have to mount on there that raises it up like this. And this rod thingy holds it in the back. So we're going to go grab the blade with the loader tractor, bring it in here because it's pretty heavy and it's nice to work in the shop. So here we go. There's the wing. So we still have one cylinder to mount on here. It goes from this down to there, and that's what picks it up this way. And then there's a cylinder here that picks the front end of it up. We just put this cutting edge on, I think last year. It's, uh, it's curled back so you don't gouge the edges of the road so bad. This is really nice. You can just set this wing down and let it float. Before we had a regular cutting edge on like this, and as soon as you touch the ground, it just made a huge mess. So this is a lifesaver. So you just set it on the ground, get your plow in the middle of the road and the wing will kind of get the edge of the road and off into the ditch a little bit and you can make a nice wide path and kind of get rid of those drifts. Dad's over there, he's gonna chain it up so it doesn't fall down. To me, these are backwards. This one's labeled toe and that one's labeled heel. Well, the toe, according to this, is up there and the heel is out there. Well, that should be toe because that's more like the end of a foot. And that should be heel, but whatever. You may be wondering, how do you know how low to run the wing? Because you probably can't see it from the cab. Well, we have this high-tech bread tie right here. And you just drop this indicator down until you line it up with the bread tie. And then you know you're down enough. Pretty high-tech. So we are about 60 miles straight south of Chicago on 
the Indiana line, and we really don't get that much snow on a normal year. We probably go out on average five, six times a year, and even then, sometimes it's not even that bad. So we're just far enough away from the lake and south that we don't really get any lake effect snow unless you get a goofy weather pattern. You know, it's the end of November and we haven't had any snow at all. We, I think we might have had some flurries one day, but nothing accumulating. Um, they're saying the weather's supposed to change, get colder. There's a chance of snow tomorrow night, I think. I don't really know if we'll get anything, but it's good to be prepared. You never know when it's gonna hit. Last year, we got a big snowstorm on Halloween and we had nothing ready, so we had to hurry up, throw the plows on so we could go out and plow. Next little project, we're gonna grab the plow for the payloader. It's over there. We're gonna move it over to the gravel so it's easier to get to. This one is super easy to hook up and unhook, so we're not gonna leave it on, but we're just gonna get it to where it's easier to get to. So, drop the bucket, hold this button. There we go. Get this out of the way somewhere. extremely graceful but we got it so we used to use this guy a lot more we've only had that red truck for a few years now and we had just had that old white truck and it didn't have a plow that you could change directions it just had a one-way plow and it kind of sucked so we used this a lot before we got that red truck um, so now we pretty much only use this if we get a really big snow because you can move a massive amount of snow with this thing. This thing will push way more than a truck and it's got this nice wide plow on it. You can angle it straight, left, right, whatever you wanna do. So if you get some really big drifts, we'll bust them open with this guy. to drop that plow inside that way when it's time to use it if it's time to use it it's not out in the cold uh, we're gonna try something a little different the payloader is dead imagine that uh, we're gonna try and move the payloader plow with this uh, they hook up a little bit different all right this thing is being weird they have a little bit different hookup but we're thinking if we tip that connection thing down all the way flat, we might be able to grab it. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but I need both my hands. Well, that worked perfectly. something going on with this payloader uh, we had some mice problems and I have no gauges on my dash except oil pressure that wasn't working a minute ago I'm thinking we have some chewed up wires because this thing should be beeping right now while the bucket is detached well or while I have the pin in the detached position and it only beeps once in a while and my dash isn't working so might have to do some work to this thing. See if we can get it to lock. That one locked. 
and that one locked. I like to just tip it down, make sure it's not going to fall off, and we're good to go. All right, there you have it. We have pretty much everything ready to go for winter. We got a few minor adjustments to do, um, a little bit of greasing to do yet. We like to keep the plow off the payloader as much as we can because sometimes we actually need it as a payloader and not a snow plow. So that one's super easy to hook up. The grader's pretty easy to hook up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. These two trucks are the main ones we wanted to get ready. They take a little bit more time to get the plows on and everything. So at least if we get a snow now, we can go out. All right, that's all we're going to do today. I'm going to go home and relax the rest of the day. Uh, we got our plows ready. That's always a good thing. Thankfully, we didn't get any snow so far. Now, if we do get some snow, we're ready to roll. One last thing, don't forget to check out our merchandise store. The link is in the description. Uh, get your Christmas shopping done early. There's only, what, a month left? Less than a month? So, yeah, get that done. See you on the next one.